Yellowstone's volcano last erupted at least three times over the past two million years, transforming the landscape around it each time. The last Yellowstone caldera forming eruption is estimated to have occurred somewhere around 640,000 years ago. The monstrous volcanic blast in what is the modern northwest United States, shaped and formed Yellowstone National Park as it is today. When Yellowstone erupted all those years ago, the supervolcano threw up so much material from deep below the surface, entire mountains collapsed into the ground. The terrifying prospect was revealed by the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. as part of the Yellowstone Supervolcano Science Series. The series explained how one of Yellowstone's prior eruptions caused a single 50-mile-long stretch of mountains to fall into the volcano's emptied magma chamber. U.S. Geological Survey USGS, scientist Jake Lowernstern, said, Natural systems can throw us a lot of curveballs, a lot of things can happen that we're not really ready for. In two of the really large eruptions at Yellowstone, so much material comes out entire mountain ranges end up falling in the ground and essentially disappearing. But the carnage did not stop there, because the volcanic fallout from Yellowstone's past eruptions was felt from coast to coast. John Westgate, a University of Toronto geologist who tracked the volcanic ash spewed by these past eruptions, said most of the United States was covered in ashfall. He told the Smithsonian, it covered much of the United States. It occurs right out of the Pacific Ocean, it's even found in the Gulf of Mexico. Up in northeast Montana there is a site we were working on where the tephra is over 7 meters thick. These eruptions are enormous and the amount of material erupted from them is huge. When Mount St. Helens erupted in 1980, one entire side of the volcano collapsed, spewing a colossal cloud of ash, snow, dirt and mud. The ash then covered a total of 11 U.S. states and even reached Canada, after strong winds blew the ash out across the country. But even this catastrophic eruption is magnitudes smaller than the destructive force of past Yellowstone eruptions. The modern Yellowstone volcano caldera spans an area in Yellowstone National Park, in northwest U.S., mostly in the northwest corner of Wyoming. The most prominent features of the caldera measure roughly 34 by 45 miles, 55 by 72 kilometers, and were formed 640,000 years ago. Since the last major eruption, there have been around 80, relatively non-explosive eruptions, of which at least 27 produced lava flows. The USGS said, the most recent volcanic eruption at Yellowstone, a lava flow on the Pitchstone Plateau, occurred 70,000 years ago. Thankfully, according to the USGS, there are no current indicators Yellowstone volcano will erupt anytime soon. And neither is there any evidence the next eruption will be big enough to reshape the volcano's caldera. But the agency said it cannot discount the possibility of another such eruption occurring sometime in the future. The USGS said, the least likely but worst case volcanic eruption at Yellowstone would be another explosive caldera forming eruption such as those that occurred 2.1 million, 1.3 million, and 640,000 years ago. However, the probability of such an eruption in any given century or millennium is exceedingly low.